I can't believe I'm saying this, but with only one title in five years, it, is there a little bit? I mean, I know he's the GOAT, yes. but is there a little bit yes. of Saban fatigue? Oh, no, I thought you were about to say pressure. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, no, all right, so pressure. That. Let's no. go with that. Uh, you you feel like there's it's kind of bubbling and bowling up here? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. I, I think it's time to – because, see, you took a risk. Uh, and that risk didn't pay off. You went out, you, you thought it was good for recruiting. I went out and hired two former NFL head coaches, Bill O'Brien and Doug Marone, and both didn't live up to maybe the expectations here. Mm. Uh, and then when you, you know, when you look at defensive side of the football, it's been slipping, uh, I guess, since uh, Jeremy Pruitt departed. And, uh, you know, you, you took a flyer on a guy from University of Texas, San Antonio, you brought him in. Uh, you know, as long as you can keep them out of downtown pubs, that was, you know, uh, you know, pretty solid. But, uh, yeah, and, and so the defense kind of just drifted away. Wow. And and so now and, – and see, the, the problem that hurts the most for Alabama fans is this, is that Georgia – see, because Nick Saban sold the fans that the new evolution of college football is here, right? You, you got to be able to, you know, got to give up some on the defensive side of the ball to score more on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, that was uh, so far from the truth because George just went, uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. And we'll do it here and we'll show you. And I know deep down inside when Nick Saban's head hits that pillow, he has to look at Kirby Smart and think about that they took his blueprint that he gave up. It's kind of like an invention. You're like, yeah, I'm going to sell that for 20 bucks. It's never going to make it. I'm going to let someone else do it. And they go out and win, you know, billion-dollar patent or whatever. Um, so th that's where, you know, Nick Saban has to look smart. And go, Man, he's taken my system, and he's won back-to-back -back national titles. And if we're not able to put a roadblock in front of him, He's going to do something that's never been done in college football. And that's been three in a row. That's true. That's true. Yeah, no, I mean, Kirby's, it, that's the blueprint, your 2011 bl blueprint. And he yeah. took it and he dropped it into Georgia. And y'all have lost your teeth and your physicality and your edge and your intimidation factor. I never thought that that would happen. And then we've got anxiety. Remember, that was a big theme word over here. We had anxiety. Oh, that's I remember saying. that. Uh, so we went, we we traded physicality, smash mouth football for anxiety. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.